Quick word from Akshita on that. Akshita, you know, uh, Vicky Kaushal, Katrina Kaif. Soon after they got married, it was looked at as an inter interfaith marriage. Uh, both of them coming together. Was, there was a, it was the talk of town. And we know what religion and how religion ignites and inflames emotions in our country. Uh, in the face of this, for them to have received this kind of death threats, they haven't uh, taken this lying down. Uh, absolutely, Nabila. They've taken it very seriously. And uh, the, Delhi, uh, the Mumbai police also, the Santa Cruz police, are taking this extremely seriously. Based on the complaint by Vicky Koshal, there are a number of uh, sections of the IPC and the IT Act that have been uh, mentioned as well. So let me just break that down for you. Uh, 506 of the IPC, which is criminal intimidation, has been mentioned. Stalking under Section 354 of the IPC has been mentioned. The IT Act, considering that this seems to be a case of cyber stalking, has also been mentioned, which is essentially punishment for publishing or transmitting obscene material. So these are the charges right now that have been mentioned. Like I said, that the complaint right now filed by Vicky Koshal, based on which the police are investigating, it's against an unknown person. So the investigation is still going on. We're going to be tracking this very closely, Nabila, right. for two aspects. Some communication or statement from Vicky Koshal and Katrina Kef, and also an official statement from the Mumbai cops on what kind of investigation they're carrying out here and whether they have any details about the identity of the accused. You know, Akshita, this uh, should be taken up as an example for the police. Hopefully they do a uh, clamp down on that, uh, that person who is trolling, the anonymous uh, man who has been issuing death threats to Vicky Koshal and Katrina Kaif, so that this uh, stops right here. Thank you very much, Akshita, for joining us with those details.